Good evening everyone, I'm Sarah, the Nurturing Coach. And if you're watching this on Facebook, either live or once it's been put out, and you've, it's the first time you visited us, please do give the page a like. It's dedicated to um, helping people overcome narcissistic abuse and live their best lives. If you're watching on YouTube, then please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help my videos to get seen by more people but again it also notifies you of when new videos are released which are at least once a week I try and get them out so anyway today I wanted to talk about can narcissists change and the reason I changed this topic is because a lot of people ask this question when they're just coming out of the relationship well, they've just had that realization of what's going on so there may be people on my on my page or on um, YouTube who they've passed this point they they've just then they don't care whether the narcissist can change or not they're done and that's fine this video is not for you but if you're still at that stage where you're not quite ready to say goodbye you're not quite ready to end things then this video will hopefully shed a little bit of light on their capacity to change if you're interested in just the dynamics of narcissistic personality disorder, then keep watching. We're going to have a look around how it's come about and, and, and what is the likelihood of them changing. And so we've all, I'm a really strong believer in that every person has the capacity to change if they want to. And this is the big kind of, stop point for most narcissists is they don't want to change because they've built up all these layers of protection and survival this false sense of self this this ego based living uh that to take that away to change that is beyond terrifying for them they and also that they're, they're they don't see that they have a problem. They find it quite easy to move on and manipulate the next person. And so why change something that they don't necessarily see is, is broken? I tend to believe that there's a big part of it is that they're afraid. Change is terrifying. We see how narcissists react to change. When there's anything that changes in the relationship, they emotionally dysregulate. They become either withdrawn or angry because they can't cope with that change, and particularly change that's out of their control. They, from a child, they've really struggled with that. They've, they've struggled with dealing with everything that happens when change occurs. And change is a natural part of life but it's something that they've never learned the coping mechanisms to be able to deal with. And so as adults, when change occurs, they really struggle with that. And so to have therapy or to look to change, it's just something that they are too afraid of. They don't want to consider it because it's too scary for them. I think there's also the element that they don't want anyone to look beyond what they're presenting. They don't want the truth to come out. They don't want all of their behaviours to be revealed. They go to such lengths to hide them. And so to sit down and have to go over that and share that with someone, that would be revealing and just too much for them. They don't want to they don't want to face the reality of that they don't want to face reality at all and another point is that they really struggle with trust they are interpersonally exploitative and that in itself is one of the diagnostic criteria from the dsm-5 but it's also very indicative of the fact that there's a real lack of their ability to trust and in order to trust someone to help you through change or to even trust someone to see past what you've put out there, this false shell that you have built, 
they, if you don't trust anyone, then who are you gonna who are you gonna do that with? And it it is hard doing it on your own. And most people who try to do things on their own, they they don't succeed because actually having that other person to reflect things back to you, to offer a different perspective, and most importantly, to be empathetic towards you and understanding. They can't trust that. And I appreciate that we, when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, you feel like you've given them all of that. You have loved them. You have cared for them. You have seen, uh, seen over their faults. You've forgiven them for a lot. But they don't trust you, which is why it's so easy for them to hurt you and to push you away, is because that emotional connection isn't there for them. There, there, is that, there isn't that trust. And that's why they lie, because they don't trust you. They don't trust themselves. But they're not prepared to look at that. Narcissists are very much about object relations. So anything outside of them. They expect everyone outside of them to provide for them, whether that be emotionally, financially, physically, sexually. It's all outside of them. They're not very good and that they are they they don't do it. <laughs> I can't think of what the right word is. They they can't internalize what they're going through and look at ways that they can help themselves. They seek to get external uh, external validation external acceptance or as we know well to project when something doesn't go right when something um hurts it's someone else's fault no matter what they've done it's someone else's fault because they can't interject that they can't take that on board they can't they can't put that into their own psyche because it's so fragile and it's so false and they have created this character and so anything that doesn't fit with that character it's not mine they put it out it's someone else's it's yours it's it's whoever's because they can't take that on themselves and these are all protective mechanisms these are things that they have experienced and built up since childhood and that's the other part of why narcissists don't change is that actually this is very ingrained behavior this is something that they've been doing for such a long time many people you hear it all the time people say oh, i'm too old to change i'm stuck in my ways it's very true when we've been practicing something for a long long time it's habitual and habits are notoriously hard to break but they are you can break them but there's um like a tipping point a tipping point between the pain of where you're currently at and the gain of where you could be if you do the work and you make the change and for the narcissist they found other ways of dealing with that pain rather than change so when they feel pain they will lash out that might make them feel better they're blaming you they walk away they find someone else they take drugs, they drink alcohol, they, they find other alternatives to deal with the pain. So there, even if there's a motivation, the, there's the pain of change, pain of, I don't want to stay like this, there's no real, no real motivation towards the gain because they found other ways to get what they need. And so there is very little um conscious need in a narcissist's mind for them to change it's so much easier to blame someone else and we, we i mean we all do that from time to time don't we if something breaks it's really easy just to go off on one i know if i'm in a bad mood and the, my computer decides not to play ball i can have a massive go at my computer and it's not really the computer's fault it's because that's happened and that's happened that's happened but the computer gets it in the neck so we can all do that. The thing with the most of us is we have that realization of, oh my god, why am I taking it out on the computer, idiot? But the narcissist can't. The narcissist finds it's easier to do that. They find relief in blaming someone else. They find the relief from 
going behind your back they find the relief from lying all of those things are physically relieving for them it is it is very much like a drug feeling for them of the numbing of the pain that they're in when they feel threatened and they feel, feel threatened by the truth they feel threatened by anyone seeing past the mask that they have put on they live in a constant state of threat that whatever they've built up is going to crumble at any moment. And so for them, change is just too hard a hurdle. That's not really the right phrase, is it? It's too big a hurdle for them to jump because there just isn't enough motivation or gain for them to change. So what tends to happen with narcissists is... They might go for therapy, but they will go for depression and then state how everyone else is ruining their lives or play the victim very well. And and a lot of therapists will buy that because they're there to help. They want to help. They want to soothe. A skilled therapist will challenge some of those beliefs and ask them to look inside and look at where some of those things might have come from and at that point where they're challenged and asked to go within the therapy will stop so again that's another barrier to why they don't change is because even if they are dip their toe into therapy the second someone asks them to go within they can't do that they can't allow that that protective border to be breached and so they will disengage and go. So you, you may find narcissists will tell you they've seen loads of therapists. And well, they probably have, but they've probably walked out or no, their therapist doesn't understand them. And whilst that's true, some therapists don't. Actually, if it's a pattern, it's probably more likely to do with the fact that they're just not, they're not willing to address what is truly going on for them. Um, and obviously therapy and change is hard. And why would why would they choose to put themselves in that position a lot of people a lot of narcissists who do have who are treated successfully and there are options there's mentalization therapy there's um psycho um i can't think of the word now i'm sorry it's just gone out of my head and my brain's gone cold um but there are lots of treatment options for therapists and it is proven that they can and it's usually ones that are either um who are in the prison population or been institutionalized for whatever reason who access that treatment and because it's kind of it's a forced it's a condition of whatever they have something to gain then they will they will attend the therapy and, and they, they can be treated but like i say for the majority of I say regular narcissists, but the ones that, that are out on the streets, the ones that are having relationships, the ones that are um, normal, in normal society, there isn't that motivation. And so they just move. So that's another point that they do is when things get too hot for them and that change becomes expected, they run. They bounce out. They bounce somewhere else. So... If you're in a relationship and you're having, it's not going great and you decide you want to have a chat with them and, you know, things have got to change, whew, watch the dust. Or they might not run, but at that point they go, right, I need an escape plan. So they, they will start trying to meet someone else and get into another relationship that doesn't have, isn't expecting them to change in any way, shape or form. But sooner or later, that same thing will happen. That that relationship will struggle and change will be requested. Not able to do it, they will move on. And that's why they, they tend to bounce between relationships. It's also why they dip their toe back in as well, because they just want to check. Do, do you accept me as who I am? Or do are you still want me to change? If you, if you accept me who I am, hey, I'm back. If you still want me to change, I'm gone. Um, and so... To sum up, can narcissists change? Yes, absolutely. Brain Brains are incredibly adaptive. We are learning new things all the time about 
our brains. We know that new neural pathways can be built. We know that behaviors can change. We know that we can, um, there are lots of if positive reinforcement that can rebuild part of the frontal cortex, which um, is damaged in majority of the brains of narcissists. We know that there's lots that can be done and lots of treatment options to treat narcissistic personality disorders. However, will narcissists actively seek to change? No, because they have no real reason to. It's too, too painful and actually they can get their needs met without having to change, without having to do that work. So I hope you found this useful. If you've got any comments, any questions, please do pop them below. Nothing has come up during the live. Now, whether that is true or not, I will check later on. Um, but if there are any, obviously I will respond. Um, if you're watching on YouTube and you've got any questions, please do pop them below or just comment. Let me know what you think or your thoughts. Have you known a narcissist to change? Um, or does everything I say resonate with your situation? I'd love to hear from you. But do take care, everyone. And also, it's important to remember that change in your life, I'm talking about you now, change for you can come from you. You don't need the narcissist to change. You can work on changing yourself. And that includes your reaction to things. But it also includes who you attract into your life, what choices you make, um, how you implement your boundaries your beliefs about yourself real change can occur in your outside world when you do do the work inside and that's the bit that narcissists aren't prepared to do so do take care everyone if you do want to make a change please do go to the nurturingcoach.co.uk and look at how to work with me and i will speak to you soon have a great weekend everyone and take care bye bye